Hey everyone, welcome to another text on tutorial. Uh, tutorial. I'm just going to bring a quick tip on how to create a Windows 7 recovery disk on your Windows 7 computer. Now I've seen people downloading the Windows 7 recovery disk from the internet and then they bring it to a CD, right? Well, if you got, fortunately if you have a Windows 7 computer, you can create a recovery disk from there itself. Now this has to be one of the main features to getting Windows 7, otherwise, I don't know, it's pointless. And you've been getting this feature since Windows 95 and then where you can create recoverable floppies and then recoverable CDs and so on. So this feature is also there in Windows 7 of course. So anyways I'm just gonna show you a quick tip on how to create one. So you can use a blank CD, you don't need a blank DVD. So all you need to do is go to start or basically go to the control panel and then you go to backup and restore. Now on the left side on the task pane you should get an option to create a system repair disk. You can even create a system image. Uh, that is if you have Windows Ult Windows 7 Ultimate or Professional, but I'm not sure. Uh, you should get the option to create a system repair disk. Now, if you click on that, uh, it will ask you to select the CD or DVD drive. So, I already got mine selected. Now, I'm not going to create a disk because I already created one right now. And it's very important that you create one because, well, what does it do? Well, it can help you repair startup problems if you can't, well, start up your computer properly. Then you can use the Windows 7 repair disk to repair those options and this is also useful when you're doable I mean if you have a, if you want to do a Windows XP Ubuntu and any other operating system with Windows 7 then you will need it to recover the bootloader which I'll cover in the next tutorial on how to use the Windows 7 recovery disk to restore the bootloader so anyway uh, click on create disk and then you are going to create a Windows 7 recovery disk and then what you're going to do is you're going to restart your computer set it to boot from the CD first let it load up the files and then the recovery menu should appear and, you can, and then you can just choose all your options so that's your quick tip on how to create a Windows 7 recovery disk hope you enjoyed the video if you did want to subscribe for more so thanks for watching and have a great day